Hi students, in last video we discussed the nomenclature of alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. Today we discuss a new concept that is homologous series of alkanes, alkenes and alkynes. Look at here. The series of carbon compounds in which two successive compounds differed by one small CH2 unit is called homologous series. Now we can explain homologous series for alkanes. Look at here. Alkanes are methane, molecular formula CH4 and the number of carbon atoms present here is equal to 1 and its structure can be written as H bond CH2 bond H. For ethane, molecular formula C2H6 containing two carbon atoms and its structure can be written as H bond CH2 bond CH2 bond H. For propane, molecular formula C3H8 containing three carbon atoms and its structure can be written as H bond CH2 bond CH2 bond CH2 bond H. When we observe two first two structures methane and ethane there is an increasing of one CH2 unit look at observe closely here there is an increasing of a one CH2 group and there is a difference of these two structure is also one CH2 group so this methane and ethane uh, we can tell an example for homologous series of alkenes when we compare propane and ethane there is one more increasing of a CH2 group. When we observe propane and butane, there is an increasing of one more CH2 unit. When we observe e in ethane, there is a two CH2 units. For propane, there is a three CH2 units. For butane, there is four CH2 units. That means for pentane, there is five CH2 units. Each two successive alkanes are divided by one CH2 group. This is called a homologous series of alkenes. Now we discuss the homologous series for alkenes. Look at here. Ethene, molecular formula C2H4 containing two carbon atoms and its structure is CH2 double bond CH2. Propene, molecular formula C3H6 containing three carbon atoms. Its molecular formula is CH3 bond CH double bond CH2. For butene, molecular formula C4H8 containing 4 carbon atoms, molecular structure is CH3 bond CH2 bond CH double bond CH2. When we observe first two alkenes, there is differed by one small CH2 unit. When we observe propene and butene, there is an increasing of one CH2 unit. When we observe pentene, there is increasing of one more CH2 unit. When we observe closely butene and pentene, here the butene is having one CH2 unit. For pentene, there is having two CH2 units. The remaining structure is same. That means there is an increasing of one CH2 unit or there is deferred by one CH2 unit between pentene and butene. Similarly, when we observe hexene and pentene, here also there is a difference of one CH2 unit between pentene and hexene. This is called a homologous series of alkenes. Now we discuss the homologous series of alkynes. Ethane, molecular formula C2H2 containing two carbon atoms and its structure is CH double bond CH. For propane, molecular formula C3H4 containing three carbon atoms and its structure is CH3 bond C triple bond CH for butane C4H6 its number of carbon atoms is equal to 4 its structure can be written as CH3 bond CH2 bond C triple bond CH for pentane molecular formula C5H8 containing 5 carbon atoms and its structure can be written as CH3 bond CH2 bond CH2 bond C triple bond CH when we observe closely butane and pentane, there is an increasing of one CH2 unit here and the remaining structure is as usual. That means there is a difference of one CH2 unit between two successive alkynes. 
This is the homologous series of alkynes. Now we discuss one more topic that is alkyl group. What is meant by alkyl group? If you have to take any one of the alkene, in that alkene we can remove one hydrogen. Then obtained resultant structure we have to name it as a alkyl group. We can take one example here. Methane, molecular formula CH4. In that methane, we can remove one hydrogen. Then the resultant structure can be written as CH3 bond. This CH3 bond we have to name it as a methyl group. One more example. C2H6 ethane. We can remove one hydrogen from this ethane. Then the resultant structure can be written as C2H5 bond. This C2H5 bond we have to name it as a ethyl group. If you have to take any one of the alkane, from that we can remove one hydrogen. Then the resultant structures we have to name it as a alkyl groups. I hope you have to understood the concept of homologous series of alkanes, alkanes and alkanes.